Hi everybody, it's Jamie from Learner Miss Quesano. Today I'm gonna to do a demonstration of how to check the stability of the ECU tendon or extensor carpi ulnaris tendon is the full name. I'm going to do a demonstration of my technique of how to check for either subluxation or dislocation of this tendon outside of the ulnar groove. This patient presents with ulnar-sided wrist pain and a painful pop during supination of her hand. Go ahead and do that demonstration now. Okay, as she did supination, I could feel a pop right here on the ulnar side of her wrist. So I'm going to do an evaluation of the extensor carpi ulnaris tendon or the ECU tendon. So what you wanna do is you wanna use a high frequency, small footprint transducer like your hockey stick. If you don't have a hockey stick in your practice, you can also use a linear high frequency transducer. This transducer is just easy to maneuver around bony structures. So you're gonna use a lot of gel so that you can get around the bony structures of the wrist. And you're gonna place the transducer right on the ulnar side of the wrist over the ECU tendon. In this picture, you're gonna see the ulna and the ECU tendon. And this is the ulnar side of the screen, and this is the radial side of the screen. So when you do dynamic evaluation, what you're looking for is for any subluxation or dislocation over the ulnar side of the screen. So first you're gonna sweep through the tendon, right here, looking for any obvious abnormalities as I scan down or proximal I had to tilt the probe distal to eliminate anisotropy that's just myotendinous junction right there that's not fluid so there was no obvious abnormalities of the tendon besides there's just a little bit of a hypochoic defect right there so what you're going to do is you want to stabilize your hand on the wrist so that when you do the dynamic evaluation, you don't slide off. And then you're gonna have the patient gently supinate their wrist while you keep the move with the transducer and your hand with her wrist during supination. So we're gonna try to demonstrate that now. Go ahead and supinate your wrist. Just go like this. Okay, so sometimes you have to keep on it just to do it as good as possible so you can actually see that the tendon did dislocate over the EC, but we wanna get a be better demonstration of that. So this time I'm gonna supinate her wrist. I'm gonna go back and forth. Okay. I'm gonna, sometimes it takes a couple times to get your groove going. So just keep going back and forth until you get a really good example of that. So now I'm gonna freeze, send you loop back if you're by yourself. And you can see now that the ulna is here and the ECU tendon did dislocate over the ulna on this side. And if I go back, I can trim my sinew loop to begin it right where, right before it went over the ulna so I can show it for the radiologist and then clip the end of it where I demonstrated the dislocation and then you could play your cine and show where it dislocates right there and then you could see a good representation for the radiologist. 